Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. In this video, I am going to talk to you about some classic quiet books from the early to mid 20th century. I'm going to start with the one that I read the longest time ago, and that is Thrones Dominations by Dorothy L. Sayers and Jill Patton Walsh. Now, I read all of the Lord Peter Whimsey books, I finished them in 2021 really enjoy them, looking forward to starting my journey rereading Lord Peter Whimsey and Bunter and Harriet Vane. I love it all. Um, but there's a couple of books that Sayers had a hand in but didn't uh, fully finish or didn't publish or whatever. This is kind of the most one that she had a hand in and that is Thrones Dominations. It's from the 1930s um, and Sayers started it she wrote out the entire plot and begun to write the novel. So all the characters were mapped out, the whole plot, what was gonna happen was there. And as I said, she started writing it, but she stopped. A Couple of different things that I've read as to why, might've been a bit of the two. One, she wanted to write more religious matter, which she did go on to do. But also, a similar sort of time as like Wallace Simpson with the monarchy, and is a similar sort of pattern so she stopped. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I started reading it, enjoyed it, <coughs> excuse me, but then I kind of just stopped. There's a point in this where I was just like I'm not that interested anymore and I just got a bit bored and it just felt very lacklustre for me and that's not usually the case with Sayers. I love Sayers. I love Gordy Knight and Strong Poison and I think they're great and there's so many of her other books that I do really enjoy, but this just wasn't one of them. Um, rating wise, I gave it a two because I didn't dislike it. I just didn't like it. I just felt nothing. Um, yeah, there's just a point where I just went, no. <laughs> would I recommend it? Uh, not really, to be honest. I would say just read one of her Lord Peter Whimsey. And if you've read them all, just reread them again because they're great, so. Um, not one that I'd recommend really, sorry to say. The next book that I have to uh, share with you is Cinderella Goes to the Morgue by Nancy Spain. This book is originally from the 1950, the year 1950, but has been republished in this lovely edition by Virago in the year 2021. Um, they are republishing lots of her works, which is lovely. This is set around Christmas time and I read it around Christmas time, um, and as lots of things happened at Christmas, one of which is pantomimes, and that is no exception now, as it was in 1950, and here we are at pantomime of Cinderella, and we have a cast and crew there, and a trap door is open, and someone falls down it and dies. Um, and you know, it's one of those things, oh, what a tragic accident, but then someone else dies, and it's like, was it an accident? Mm. Um, we have our sleuths, Miriam and Natasha there, that aren't, they're not the regular sleuths, they're like, they're not a Lord Peter or um, Miss Marple, Miss Silver, Poirot, Sherlock Holmes, not that, they're not that type, um, they're not that nosy, <laughs> um, but they are very subtle and they're, they're always there and present and they just, they do end up working it out, but they just don't get in the way as much. It's one of these books that I often forget that I am reading crime um, because it's very funny, it's very warm, it's very witty, it's just a very nice book from the 1950s that occasionally a murder happens. Oh that sounds awful but you know what I mean like sometimes when a murder's not happening it's it's one of those things where you can easily just get swept up in the writing because it's, it's quite humorous. Um, there was a section here that did make me laugh out loud which was um, they're having breakfast and then Nancy Spain writes a line something like you don't need to know how they're eating breakfast <laughs> just literally like okay <laughs> um, and it, yeah it's funny and I like it and Nancy Spain books I like to describe as wonderfully weird they're they're not the usual type of classic crime book that you know we're perhaps used to but they work and I enjoy them um, very very much so and I know they're, they're, they're very much Marmite books. I think you either love them or you just don't because they're just so odd. But yeah, just for me, this was a pure delight. And actually for me, this was, I think the favorite that I've read of hers so far, just because I think the pacing was really well. I mean, 
we're getting on for 400 pages. Nancy Spain's books are quite big, um, they're quite chunky, and for me they are too long in terms of a classic crime. I like it to be done within about 300 pages. Um, you know, I like short, sharp, to the point, um, keeps me keeps me going, um, keeps me hooked and keeps me trying to work out who who could have done it. Um, but the pacing of this, I actually thought was fantastic. And would I chop anything out of this? Mm, probably not much at all, really. Um, I think a little edit, but not loads. Um, and as I said, I think this is the best paced so far. And I'm really looking forward to reading more of Nancy Spain. And I hope Virago continue to republish her work in these beautiful, beautiful editions. And then last but not least, I have Patricia Wentworth. Mr. Zero. This is the first standalone of Patricia Wentworth that I've ever read. So in 2021, I completed the Miss Silver series. There's over 30 books. I've read them all. Oh, they were good. <laughs> and I have a new journey, similar to Sayers, where I'm going to be rereading them. And I'm very much looking forward to that. But I knew Sayers did standalones. A little bit apprehensive going in because when it comes to, say, Agatha Christie, I would much prefer to reread a Poirot or a Marple or a Tommy and Tuppence than I would a standalone. Just personal preference, um, in particular Poirot, much rather read him than I would a standalone. I just think his books and just generally books with reoccurring detectives are stronger than standalones. So I was a little bit apprehensive going in, but actually <laughs> I thought it was really, really good. So this book is about a young woman called Sylvia who has been married about a year and she was poor before she met her husband and her husband's about 20 years older than her and he's very wealthy and he has a very um, commanding job all in politics sort of realm um, and she ends up gambling and losing about 500 pounds and she gets a call from a man who calls himself Mr Zero to say I will give you um 250 pounds or 200 pounds whatever it was um but you need to take these papers when you go to this house and so she goes to this house take these papers and gives them to Mr Zero she gets her money she gets to pay off a little bit of her debt and then she gets another call to say needs you to do it again and she's like no 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 I can't do it again and Mr Zero says well I'm going to tell your husband but she's quite scared of her husband so she's like no 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 don't um and then she confines her friend Gay now Gay is a much more of a sensible character she's much more of a likeable character Sylvia is not a likeable character at all Sylvia is so self-obsessed self-involved and very very selfish as a person um I, I didn't I hate her but there's parts of this where I was like no don't like you um yeah she's just very selfish she's kind of those characters that you love to hate she's one of those um but I did I did feel sorry for her certainly at the beginning anyway um and she tells her friend Gay and Gay's like you need to tell your husband and she's like no I can't tell him and then Gay's trying to warn her and stop her from going again to this Mr Zero and then a murder takes place Oh, it was really good. Um, it's it's the typical Patricia Wentworth writing style that I just love and adore. And her characters have always written so well. And this was no exception here. So yes, really, really enjoyed it. Really highly recommend it. Um, this is published by Dean Street Press. So this means that at some point this book went out of print. And that breaks my heart because Patricia Wentworth is so, so good. And definitely, definitely doesn't deserve to be out of print. Definitely not, because she's so, so good. Same with Nancy Spain. Why did these go out of print? They shouldn't have been out of print. Um, wonderful books. Anyway, that is it. <laughs> Those are the classic crime books that I have read recently, these three. Have you read any of these three? So my favourites, clear favourites, were the Nancy Spain and Patricia Wentworth. Um, Sayers, I, you know, it was, it was meh. Um, but it has push me to perhaps I think I might pick up Gordy Knight again very very soon because I I'm definitely due a reread anyway let me know what you think of these books if you've read them if you haven't read them let me know if they're on your wish list and I shall see you very very soon for my next video thanks for watching bye